Hey guys, it is surgery day. Um, this morning I'm having surgery to, ah, oh, the door's locked, to remove my polyps. Um, it's not really like a invasive surgery, like they don't have to cut me open or anything, which I'm kind of bummed about because that means that they're going in, ah, oh, it's still locked. That means that they're going in vaginally. So I'm gonna be asleep and yeah, so people keep asking me if I'm nervous. Um, I'm not really nervous. I'm just like, like, to be perfectly honest, I'm really just worried that I'm gonna like pass gas in like in her face. It's <sighs> my biggest concern right now. I'll keep you guys posted, but yeah, today's surgery day. the next day I am pretty much business as usual um, so I'll talk about the results from the surgery so originally from my ultrasound that I had like a month ago um, she found two polyps and she came in the room um, after I was out of the surgery and tried talking to me and it was funny because I heard her trying to talk to me but I couldn't figure out how to open my eyes um, so it was like a weird like I was conscious, but my like body was still like under the anesthesia. So I was like, oh my eyes, <laughs> you're trying so hard. So I heard everything she said, but she didn't tell me any like details from the surgery because she thought that I was sleeping, uh, which I was, but I wasn't. Um, so she just kept trying to wake me up. She's like, Brittany, Brittany. And then um, she's like, I'll just go talk to her husband. And then she told the nurse a couple of things, um, like things to tell me. And so yeah, so then she went out and talked to Joe. And apparently she found two bigger um, polyps. And originally she said that the polyps that she found in my um, ultrasound were like small to medium, like a pea size. Um, and she j showed Joe the pictures. I wish I was able to see the pictures. I'm hoping I can see them in a couple weeks when I have my appointment with her, just because I'm curious. Um, but he said that they looked pretty big, but I don't know if they were like super blown up, but she said that she found two bigger ones and then a bunch of smaller ones. So I definitely had more than two. Um, from what I'm gathering, like I feel like I had like maybe five smaller ones and two big ones or something, but I don't know the exact number, but I definitely had more than two. Um, and I also don't know if the two bigger ones were the ones that she saw in my ultrasound and they just got bigger over the past month. Um, so that'll probably be a question that I ask her. Um, so yeah, they got all of those out, which is nice. The only discouraging news is that she said that um, it's probably pretty likely that it will be um, a normal occurrence for me to get uterine polyps, like I'll probably get them again. And so um, that's just really discouraging because I'm like, am I going to have to do this once a year? Like, what is the deal with my uterus? But I really want to talk to someone who's like an expert in the whole reproductive system and maybe he has some insight that she doesn't or maybe he would do a little bit more investigating or something so yeah so that's the result from my surgery um today is pretty much business as usual i'm having a little bit of cramping um yesterday i was just pretty like loopy and tired and my stomach was just really tender and it felt like um 
somebody had knifed at my insides, if you know what I mean, which technically they did. Um, so that kind of hurt. Uh, but today it's just like a little bit of cramping and um, still bleeding. I'm very thankful that it's over and we can continue to move forward in our fertility journey. Um, and just having those gone and taken care of, it's been a long process of, um, you know, getting everything booked from my family doctor and then being referred to her and then having my first initial appointment with her and then the ultrasound and then the procedure. It's been like a three month process to like get these taken care of. So I'm glad that we have come out the other side and everything is taken care of. Okay, so um, as far as weight loss goes, my weigh-ins are the first Thursday of every month. And the first Thursday of this month, I think was literally the first. So yes, yeah, so I just totally didn't realize it until the day of. And so it was like midday and for me to do a weigh-in and all that stuff after I'd eaten everything. Um, and then the next week I was going to do it, but I really wanted to get my, my um, Easter and spring video up because I didn't want to put that up the next week because I felt like it would be too close to Easter. So then that leaves this Thursday. So I thought that I would just do a little weigh-in attached to the end of this fertility video. So I have been taking snippets of what I've been eating and kind of like a week in the life of Nutrisystem. Those are all done. I just have to like put them into a video and I was gonna make that my weigh-in video. So from now on, when I do my once a month, the first Thursday of every month weigh-in, um, I want to just, instead of putting up a weigh-in video and just weighing myself and having it be a three minute video, um, I want it to be like a weigh-in video and then something else dealing with weight loss. So sharing a recipe, sharing an exercise routine, um, doing a week in the life of Nutrisystem. Like I want it to be um, something else going on in that video besides just the weigh-in. So it's gonna have that be my weigh-in video, the week in the life of Nutrisystem. Um, and the way in at the end of it, but I wanted to get this video. <laughs> Sometimes there's like too many videos to get up and not enough time to do it. So I thought that I would just um, put this video up and then in a couple weeks, I'll just put up the week in the life of Nutrisystem because I have been having a lot of questions of like, what is Nutrisystem like and what do you eat and how do you like it? So I'll definitely have that video up for you guys soon. Um, so yeah, Nutrisystem has been going good. I did have like a two week hiccup where I wasn't off of it completely, but I wasn't being 100%. Whereas the first week that I was on it, I was like 100%. And we had just kind of like slid off the wagon a little bit. Um, and it took a little bit to get back on the wagon. So for the past week, I've been more on the wagon. Uh, my week has been more like my first week, which is good, except for like yesterday, um, I didn't really eat that much. We had Qdoba, but that was like all I had that day because I was recovering from the surgery. Um, so yes, other than that, it's been going pretty well. I still do really love it. Um, it's still like the best diet I've ever done. I'm still really enjoying the food. I'm still having success with it. We're definitely still doing it. Um, it just hasn't been the most perfect month that I would wanted, that I would have wanted to have. So for my weigh-in this morning, I weighed 202.6, and my starting weight on Nutrisystem was 208.1, I think. So for my first month on Nutrisystem, I lost five and a half pounds, which, like I said, for kind of being a little bit off of Nutrisystem for the first couple of weeks, um, not all the way off, but not doing the best. I think losing, still losing 5.5 pounds in a month is really great. And that's what I was saying about Nutrisystem is that obviously you're going to lose more weight quicker if you're like 100% on it. But if you're not, you're still losing weight. So losing five and a half pounds this month wasn't so bad, but I'm hoping for 10 pounds next month, which would be 15 and a half pounds lost. So yeah, that was my way in. Thank you guys so much for watching and thank you so much for all of your support in our fertility journey and my weight loss journey. You guys are just awesome. So thank you for watching and thank you for all of your support and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.